Hello and welcome to the Lifestyle Freedom. Thank you so much for being here. This video is part 2 of the Groove Pages tutorial series, wherein I will show you how to use Groove Pages to get up to speed with it. So, please utilize the topic timestamps in the description so that you can skip directly to the section that you want to learn. On the other hand, if you're new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Are you ready? Let's get started. We'll continue here with the export site option. To get the HTML code for all pages in your Groove Pages site, click Export Site, which will open a new tab and instantly download a zip file. After you unzip the file, you can see all the HTML files for each page on your website. Revisions provide a timestamp for any recent modifications you have made. When you click on it, you'll be taken to a page with all of the timestamps. For example, if you made a mistake and want to revert your website to an earlier version, locate the timestamp and hover over it, an eye icon will appear. Click on it, and it will load the selected version of your website, then you may click on use this version to revert the website to that point in time. There's also a share site, which allows you to share your designs. Thus, if you want to share your website or funnel with another Groove user, go to the share site and click add, which will create a share link for you. You may then send that link to the person you wish to share it with. That person can then sign into their Groove account, and by pasting that URL into their browser, it will clone that site onto their Groove pages. Here's a tip, make sure you publish your site first so that your share funnel link functions properly. Next, the Instant Edit Bookmark LED is a bookmark code offered by Groove that allows you to jump directly to a particular page you want to edit. If you click here, it opens another tab that tells you how to add the code to your bookmark and utilize it. Now, let's move on to pages. If you click on it, you'll see all of the pages for your selected project. Click on the page name, and then the page details will display right here on your canvas. To edit another page, you must return here and select the page you wish to edit. You also have the meatballs menu here. Click on the three dots to access additional settings for the page. For example, you can edit settings for page name, on Groove Pages, this is an internal name for your site structure and naming convention. Page URL refers to the URL of a specific page, for example, you can change it to Lifestyle Freedom Courses. This implies that your domain.com slash Lifestyle Freedom Courses will be the public page URL. You'll notice that the home page will have index as its name and be loaded by Groove Pages by default without typing the index in the URL. For search engine optimization purposes, the page title can be set here. So how does this work? For example, if you search for Groove Digital CEO, Mike Philsame, in Google, the page title will be displayed by Google. And if you view the source, these page title, meta keywords, and meta description are simply part of the HTML structure that search engine crawlers use to parse the web pages on the internet. So here are some tips on how to key in details for these page elements. Title tags around 50 to 60 characters. If your title exceeds 60 characters, Google will chop it off. Now for meta keywords, it helps tell search engines what the page's topic is, and you'd add your page keywords separated by commas like this. scrolling down in a meta description this is the seo description for your page to return to our example this is the meta description therefore keep it around 155 to 160 characters and you can use the website charactercountonline.com or your word processors such as google docs or microsoft word the recommendation for meta description is that you utilize all 155 to 160 characters if you're satisfied with your description, go here and paste it into the meta description field. If you toggle this exit page by confirmation, then the visitor will receive a confirmation message when leaving the page. In this example, we will untick this option. You can also set the default font for this page under font. This will override the global font at site settings discussed in part one of this tutorial. For CSS, you'll notice that there are already some entries here. This comes from the template. If you need to add custom CSS for this page, 
then you can add it here. Just like the font setting, you have a code include setting here for this page. The purpose of this is to allow you to add conversion tracking and is usually used on the thank you page or order confirmation page. So, if you're using Facebook Pixel, conversion tracking allows the Facebook algorithm to help you find more audience that matches your conversion criteria. Next, you may add a particular open graph photo and title for this page by setting it here in the social share settings. You can refer to part 1 of this tutorial for more information. Also, please do remember to save your changes regularly by clicking on the check icon. Now, let's cover the other options available to you from the Meatballs menu. If you wish to designate a specific page as a home page, click on the three dots and click set as the home page. This option is only available to pages that are not currently set as the home page. To rename a page, select rename, key in the name, and click the checkmark icon to save the changes. Do remember that this is the same setting as the page name. You can use the clone menu option if you have a similar structure for the other website pages. Once you click clone, everything on that page will be copied, and the name and URL appended with copy will appear in the entry you selected. There's also a move to option to move the page around within Groove Pages. Next, to remove a page from your website, click on Delete, then Confirm. After you've completed developing and customizing this specific page, you have the option to save it as a template. Click on Save as a template and wait until the content is saved, wherein this green notification appears. Your page templates can be accessed by clicking on the New Site and the My Templates tab. All of your templates will be saved under My Templates, and you'll find your templates here. The next option on the menu allows you to hide the page from the menu navigation. For example, if you hide this page, notice that the page entry is removed in the navigation bar and placed under the Hidden Pages section. Another option to hide any pages from the menu is by dragging them down to the hidden area. If you don't want to hide that page, mouse over these six dots and drag it back into the desired sequence. Now to add a new page to your website, click this plus button. You may either create your page from scratch or use one of the pre-designed themes. Next, you'll notice here that you also get the URL importer option. This is when you have a website using other page builders or content management systems. You will need to insert this code on your website to confirm ownership. So, copy and paste that code to your website. But keep in mind that it may not import all of your content exactly as it appears, and you may need to modify specific aspects to make it appear the way you wanted it to. Therefore, the recommendation is to rebuild it on Groove Pages for fewer difficulties, and you can still create better looking pages. That's it for this video. I hope you had some value and insights with this Groove Pages tutorial part 2 for your project in the best way possible. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to access more resources related to the topics on this channel, you can visit www.thelifestylefreedom.com. Lastly, how's your Groove Pages set up? Let me know by leaving a comment and see you in the next video. So, stay tuned.